Oh, and uh, he's going Mewtwo. Um, Disa's going Corn. Wow, that was a really good play by Thundercat right there. Realizing he had the opportunity to Gimp him right there, and uh, just um, using uh, Nair, which is really weak, uh, just kind of semi-spikes him. I'm pretty sure uh, he didn't even get the final hit. All right, some good combos, Thundercat. He's got to be feeling himself right now. Thundercat, um, he's being a little too Mewtwo of a Mewtwo. He's uh, seen a lot of air dodge right there, and Disa just reads it and forward smashes him. Um, he's trying to challenge Corn's stuff. Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Diesel picking the right defensive options right now. Um, Thundercat was waiting for... Um, that was a nice reflection. But um, Thundercat was waiting to hit him with up air, and he just down-aired him. Ooh, nice phase fair. Thundercat going for the read right there, but doesn't get punished. Uh, face fair working out for him earlier, but not right there. Disa just staying in shield. When you have Mewtwo matchup, anytime you see Mewtwo air dodge, just stay in shield. And he, he's almost always coming in with like an aerial. That was a really good uh, reaction punish by Thundercat. Just doesn't quite take the stock. But um, he's got to be happy with, uh, with uh, where he's at right now. Ooh. Maybe pre patch that would have killed. <laughs> oh. Oh! Disa, no in that range. This should kill. Maybe? Wow. Alright, Diesel definitely in um in uh, danger of losing this game. Um, once you're in, at like 150 against Mewtwo, all it takes is a grab, and that's gotta be it. Yep. Yeah, even stale that will kill at that percent. Good stuff from Thundercat. Um, Diesel played well too. It's just uh, Thundercat ran away with it after um, Diesel got a little greedy off stage. That um nair that Thundercat did to get that Gimp is um is something that's really difficult to teach um, like up and coming Mewtwo's like mid-level Mewtwo's because that's that's it's amazing in that situation but it's really situational if um, Disorient read that he was gonna do that he, he could have gotten punished really hard normally Mewtwo kind of just wants to be pass off, uh, passive off stage but um, using it to punish in that um, particular situation got him a stock Uh, Thundercat uh, looking to phase through um, Diesel's zoning, but he's keeping it pretty tight. Yeah, he just tried to do it again there, and he got hit by down air. There you go. Thundercat finally getting some stage position back. Mm, I want to see Thundercat stop trying to phase through everything. Uh, Diesel's kind of catching on. He's, he's adapted really well from game one. I like that uh, spacing by Thundercat right there, keeping him in uh, fair and uh, down tilt range. Interesting option right there from Thundercat just to skip the ledge. Oh, and that up air will take it. Um, Disorient keeps winning these challenges with his, uh, his disjointed sword, so. And his back air, like, you're not gonna win challenges against uh, Core in a lot. Ooh, great read by Thundercat right there, getting that up smash. Um, now, um, what Mewtwo can do in that situation when he counters, instead of running in and shielding, because it's it's pretty safe on shield, and it has like no win lag, uh, Corn's counter. Um, what you want to do right there is if he's uh, going to counter it, is just run up and kind of space yourself well, <laughs> and just so you can um, forward smash him at the end of it. It takes some, it takes definitely takes some practice and precise timing. Thundercat putting himself back in a good position. Diesel covering ledge right there with the um, with the side B. Oh, that's gonna do it. He uh, Diesel had the right read, but uh, Thundercat was just a little short on the first pair, <laughs> to be honest. But you could also just chalk that up to good spacing.
Wow. Oh. Bad option select. Comboed with bad DI. That's not good. <laughs> um, as Mewtwo there, you can definitely just like ledge drop and up air. This is Dare's new character. It seems like he has a new one each time I see him play. Well, you've seen me play three times then, because I've only used three characters for the past like three months. <laughs> but yeah, I have played a lot. Alright, let's see. Uh, Dreamland, I like this pick uh, as a counter pick for um, Mewtwo. Low s nah, technically not a low ceiling, but it is. Also, um, um, Mewtwo has a lot of uh, like canceling options on the platforms with like his air dodges and up Bs and whatnot, or even Nair, and um, that gives him a really big advantage. Plus, um, his up smash and up tilt and stuff cover the platforms very well. And uh, Battlefield was already unchoosable because he's already won on that stage. So this is this is a beautiful pick, and it does have a lower ceiling in Battlefield. He's still tacking on the percent, though. Oh, nice. I like that aggression by Thundercat. Once again, Diso reads the roll, or reads it, but um, Thundercat put that, decided to put that up smash on the platform instead of uh, in the middle of the stage. Really good stuff from Thundercat right there. Being mysterious. Ooh. That was very close. Oh, man. A lot of whiffs from both these players. They crossed each other up without realizing it. Ooh. Hit, gets the wrong hit of that Nair to convert it into down tilt. That's unfortunate. That's so hard to do. <laughs> Thundercat's starting to win these trades, which is really a uh, big difference from game one and two. He's coming in with fair really fearlessly. And his uh, use of Shadow Ball has also improved. Oh man, he just comes in with that fair. It's really good. I'm liking this adaptation from Thundercat. He's playing very well today. Ooh. Air dodging into the... That's what I'm talking about. He keeps trying to phase through uh, corn zoning options. I don't know what the right uh, move would have been there, though. Probably probably just uh, teleport past her. Yeah, and he's just taking control again. Trying to get the Gimp with Nair again. Almost. But uh, Diso gets the trade. Oh, didn't fall for it the second time. <laughs> Ooh. I uh, tried to continue to combo with uh, forward tilt. That was questionable. Well, quite cool yet. Yeah, still anyone's game. Yeah. Thundercat will be looking for a combo here. Starting to get it. Oh. Spot dodges the grab. Wow! The prediction from Disorient right there. He said, you're going to appear right here. <laughs> that was good. 2-1 now. Thundercat's playing well. Just uh, Disorient's turning it on when he needs to. Classic Diso. Alright. Town and City is a pretty good pick against Korn. I uh, personally would have just gone back to uh, Dreamlane. But... Might, uh, might see something here. Might want some more um, room to move around. Town City is really big. <laughs> Ooh, these nares. To down tilt. That was a good uh, instance of the phase right there. To phase, uh, or in case people people don't know, um, phasing is when uh, Mewtwo uses air dodge offensively essentially. Or I guess defensively. It's just short hop air dodge. And um, or, or using air dodge to go through enemies' attacks. I don't know why it's called phasing. It's just a Mewtwo thing. But um, Thundercat's done it a few times now. He'll um, he'll air dodge past the um, uh, Korn's first hit of side B and then land with fair to stop her from uh, doing the kick. Good conversion right there. Down tilt to up air. Keeping the pressure on. Ooh. That was just a solid read from Diso right there.
It's a been a big difference in uh, the set. Um, Diso's getting it where it matters. Oh, Diso coming with a combo of his own. 51%. Oh. Really big momentum swing towards Diso's favor. This can't be good for uh, Thundercat. I want to see him throw more Shadow Balls. As much as, <laughs> as much Shadow Balls as he's throwing. Does a good job of keeping um, Corn honest. Uh, he could have punished with forward smash there and taken the stock. And that will be it. Good stuff from Thundercat. Um, Diso just making the right place. It happens. <laughs> He'll do that. He's pretty good. Please smash now. It's so weird. It's just like that. It's yeah, I know. It's like every single the huh? I know. Every time someone's like, "Are you getting so and so?" I'm like, "Man, I just wanna, I just wanna get up from ledge consistently." Like. <laughs>